During the Ebola epidemic in West Africa, the lack of disease surveillance and control capabilities was one of the main problems leading to the severe spread of the disease. The special thing about infectious diseases is that they are transmissible from one person to another. So, um, if you want to control the situation, if you are able to interrupt this spread, this transmission from one person to another, you have already gained the battle. So far, gaining crucial knowledge has been difficult. Identifying emerging infections and suspected cases, as well as their contacts, is hard because of the lack of sufficient infrastructure. Healthcare workers have to travel for hours and even days to follow up on information and gather it. Additionally, the cases so far had to be monitored on sheets of paper and transferring was slow and inefficient. Thus, the information exchange between all involved parties is too slow and complicated, which means the spreading of the disease cannot be controlled sufficiently. To solve this problem, epidemiologists and IT experts from Germany and Nigeria have jointly developed the Surveillance Outbreak Response Management and Analysis System short SOMAS, a management tool to support identifying emerging infections and suspected cases as well as their contacts and leveraging immediate information exchange between all involved parties of outbreak control. The system has recently been tested in Nigeria under real-life field conditions. SOMAS took intensive efforts to take the needs of the population into account and to involve rural healthcare workers in the developing process. The impressive thing about this new tool and application is it's very simple to use and because data is transmitted real-time, the SOMAS tool will greatly improve the management of outbreaks in Nigeria. The groundbreaking idea behind SOMAS is to establish a computer-assisted network for real-time interaction. Via SORMAS, hospital informants notify possible Ebola patients. This immediately triggers validation by the surveillance officer. SORMAS makes the result available to the surveillance supervisor, who then assigns infection control measures to a case supervisor. Likewise, the surveillance supervisor assigns tasks to the contact supervisor. This includes daily measurement of the body temperature. Should the contact person develop fever, SOMAS will automatically alert the surveillance supervisor, who will in turn initiate case verification. In addition, a special hotline collects rumors from citizens about potential cases, which will enter SOMAS and lead into a process similar to the former one. This feedback system allows the health workers to make decisions fast and efficient as they are in contact with the emergency operation center throughout the monitoring process. Additionally, the app allows the health workers to enter contact information that makes it easier to follow up on the suspected cases and to keep track of their development throughout the monitoring process. By combining the technological and scientific expertise and the practical experience of fighting epidemics in Africa, SORMAS is designed to make outbreak control faster and more efficient. Not only for Ebola, but also for any other infectious disease. It has in fact been developed for measles, avian flu and cholera already. SORMAS will accelerate the detection and management of outbreaks, be independent from access to the internet or to electricity, provide immediate information exchange for all health offices involved and adhere to national surveillance and international health regulations. I see SOMAS as the future of surveillance, not only in Nigeria, but also in Africa.